Hi guys, welcome to RPA Stuff. In today's video we are going to learn how to use Credential Vault and AAA360 using RPA Challenge provided by Automation Anywhere. Credential Vault securely stores sensitive information like as passwords, account numbers, host name and other highly sensitive information for use in automated operations. It facilitates role-based access for control room users and ensures sensitive values are not stored on robots or devices. The Credential Vault consists of two main features, credentials and lockers. A credential holds the sensitive information in attributes. An attribute can have a value that is standard for all users or it can accept a user input value. For example, a login credentials like username and password. A locker specifies which users can view, modify, or access the credentials. For example, locker holds credentials of various websites and allows only specified users to access it. Now let us create bot for basic login challenge. The challenge is very simple. We have to go to the specified URL and enter username, password and click on sign in button. Our first step is to launch your control room URL and login using your credentials. Once you are inside Control Room, navigate to Manage tab and click on Credentials. Now click on Locker tab above. Then click on highlighted keyhole icon to create locker. Enter an appropriate name and description. Click on Create Locker. You can create credential by hovering over the three dots icon and clicking on key icon or you can navigate to credentials tab above. I will go by navigating to credential tab and clicking on the highlighted key icon. Enter a name and description for the new credential. Scroll down and select the locker we have created in previous step. Enter attribute name and description as username. Select input as standard and copy value of username from challenge page and paste it in value section. You can uncheck the mask checkbox to see value entered in value text box. Scroll down and click on plus symbol to create new attribute. Enter attribute name and description as password. Select input as standard and check the use only on password and masked field values checkbox. Copy the password value from the challenge page and paste it in value text box. Scroll up and click on Create Credentials. Now navigate to Lockers tab and hover over the three dots and click on Edit. Now go to Consumer section and in Available Roles select the C underscore user. Click on Save Changes. Let us go to Automation tab and create a task bot. Drag and drop the browser open action to designer window. Select new window and browser as Google Chrome. Create string variable to store page URL. Add URL variable to link to open section. Now drag and drop capture command from action pane. Select the correct browser challenge page.
capture the username field and login page by selecting the field after red box appears around it. In action to take section, select set text. In keystroke section, select a credential. Click on pick button. Now select the locker and credential that we created in previous step. Select username attribute. Now using same steps, capture password section. In credentials, select password attribute. Now take another capture action and clone sign in button. Select action to take as click. Save the changes. Now let us run the bot. Our bot ran successfully. Please like, share and subscribe. I will see you in my next video.